Okay, today's video is going to be just a little different. I'm going to be talking about my fixed blade bench made that I've had for a number of years. The bench made, and I always forget how to pronounce it, Nimrus, Nimrus. Um, I've had this knife ooh, since about 2000, I want to say 2005. I bought it just before I deployed. Uh, went with me for two deployments. But uh, don't be fooled. <laughs> the awareness is only from opening boxes since I was a cook in the army. <laughs> but uh, the handles broke on it and I just tossed them away and I set it aside. And then in 2006, I went in and bought a brand new one. And this one's pretty much stayed pristine uh, in the sleeves. Schlich, schlich. And uh, since I got out in uh, 2007, uh, didn't really find no use for it. So what I did was I recently had this thing uh, sharpened up again. And I, what I'm going to do is today, I'm going to go ahead and do a cord wrap on it. And I'm not an expert, so see how it turns out. So I will continue this at my cousin's shop. But, yeah, I just wanted to go over this nice little part of my collection of Benchmades that I have. Uh, Mel Perdue's, Mel Perdue's, Striker Auto, Striker Trainer, Striker. AFCK, 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 and another striker. One of my oldest knives that I've had for, got over 30 years, is my Emerson CQC7. I didn't really need to scrub it down. I haven't carried this knife in forever. But anyway, that's kind of like the just the intro of the video. Uh, the next video will be me uh, attempting to do the cord wrap. Alright, so there it is. It's not that great, but it works. And see my other well, shop is kind of messy, but it's a fish shop now. So that'll end it for this part right here. I'll uh, conclude it with some other stuff in regards to this length. All right, in this part of the video, um, see, I already did the paracord wrap. It's not great, great. Yeah, but what are you going to do, right? So I'm talking about the carrying solutions, uh, Kydex Schlees, that I purchased. This one, actually, I purchased it back in um, January of this year, um, right around the time that I got COVID. So I had already... Uh, kind of plan to carry this knife as a self-defense weapon given the uh, the need of it so this is the carry that I purchased it's a basically horizontal carry works very good should you need it Also comes with a bell clip that you can attach. 
So you can carry it uh, inside the waistband. But just wanted to make something a little different that I was working on. You get a couple of extra stickers, which I'll probably put on my laptop or somewhere. So uh, you can, uh, like I said, I'll put the link for this company in the description below. Overall, uh, I've been very happy with this knife for what I've used it for. Um, probably could have used something like this when I was when I was serving in the Corps. I said in the army, I only used it for uh, cutting boxes up and or cutting any kind of other material I needed to cut. Thus, the tip is a little bit worn out. But uh, there you have it. Excellent knife. You really can't get it nowadays, uh, unfortunately, because it is discontinued. And if you do find it, you're going to play a pretty penny for it. But definitely recommend it. Um, I want to see... If I hmm, I have to double check, but it's it's a five inch blade, so I don't know whether or not I actually can legally, legally carry it in Texas. But anyway, that's something I'll look into. So there we have it. Nice bench made fixed blade. Excellent defense weapon or a chili knife, whichever you want to use. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care, be safe. Uh, any comments, questions, gripes, complaints, <laughs> whatever, go ahead and post them below. I'll go ahead and answer be back as soon as I can. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so this uh, cord wrap was kind of like something I watched a video on and pretty much just decided to do it. So thank you for watching again. Take care and be safe.